What would a statue to Joe Orton mean? Well, in Leicester, a lot, wouldn't it? The idea that in Orton Square there should be a statue, a memorial to him, is terrific. What it should be is another matter. I like the idea that it would uh, outrage some people. That's in the Orton spirit, isn't it? Make people think, make people reassess. Uh, make people change, and uh, if it's a rather bland, look-alike statue, uh, mightn't quite do that. So, lovely that uh, the young people of, of Leicester should uh, have that statue pointed out and, and, and the story of Joe Orton be told, and his plays be remembered. And beyond Leicester, of course, um, the spirit of Joe Orton is hugely uh, important. He established a whole new way of uh, uh, looking at the world, and for gay people in particular, of course, it, uh, it would be a, a memorial to uh, times gone by, which have to be remembered because it's on the basis of uh, his openness and so much that followed in changing the law, which has made uh, United Kingdom one of the most comfortable places for gay people to live. And so a statue to Joe Orton would uh, acknowledge that, too. Perhaps it could be a, a place where people could leave messages, as people have done on the tomb of uh, Oscar Wilde in Paris. I'm all for it, and I keep smiling, and, and I, I hope the statue will <laughs> make people uh, smile. And be glad that the, oh dear, the heartache and the difficulties which people of Orton's generation, however brave and strong they were, uh, went through, is hopefully for most of us over. But I think a reminder of, of times gone by uh, will keep uh, not just his memory alive, but uh, his plays, his writing and his uh, huge contribution to uh, modern Britain. Oh, it's something well worth supporting. <laughs>